All right, today we're going to be making a Mario pipe. This is a little bit of an exercise to make sure we're still up to date and like caught up with all the hotkeys that we've used last time. So I want to hide this for now. I'm going to make a new cube. You can use a fresh document. It'll be the same idea. So we're going to take that cube. I just moved it up to the ground plane, but you really don't need to do that. Then we go into edit mode and uh, we're going to go up to face select mode at the top here. It's going to allow us to grab the top face. We're going to press E to extrude it and I'm just going to pull it up slightly. It's automatically going to align us with the face away from it. So we just have to move our mouse straight up and it should lock us in the Z axes. Okay, then we're going to alt click on this vertical edge while in face select mode and it's going to grab the loop around the entire object. It just connects it all the way around so we have all those faces for the rim of this top of the object. We're going to press alt E and we're going to extrude along normals. This is going to pull all the faces out evenly away from themselves without getting any height in this. Okay, then we're going to grab that top face and we're going to scale that down with the S key. Just so that it doesn't align with the outer rim of the walls. It adds some thickness to the walls this way too and it won't, it won't be clipping that way. Then we're going to press E and we're going to extrude that straight down it goes all the way through. If you're not in x-ray mode it'll look like this so it can be quite hard to pull that through so just make sure to check x-ray. I don't think it's all the way to the bottom so I'm going to press G, it sticks to my mouse, press Z to lock it to the z-axis, I'm just going to pull it down a little bit further. Good. Getting out of x-ray mode at the top here or pressing alt z if the hotkey works for you. Um, yeah that'll, uh, that'll do it. I think this is pretty good. Now we just need to subdivide this. I can use the control one, two, or three keys to add different variable levels of our subdivide modifier. We can also go to the blue wrench over here, which is a subdivide, or sorry, it's our modifier menu. And then go to add modifier, subdivision surface. You can manually put that in yourself, it's fine. But I like to use the control one hotkey, or two, three, just to cycle through because it's a little bit quicker. All right, last step. We're gonna take this bottom face and I recommend deleting it. We could crease this, but I end up with shading issues when I do that. So um, like the general rule of thumb would be to crease it and add a re reinforcing loop here. But just to make this simpler, we're just gonna delete that face so it pulls it straight down. All right, uh, last few steps. We're gonna go into edge select mode and we're gonna select some loops here. First off, we're gonna click on this loop right here by alt clicking it. And you can see um, I also need this loop, the top loop, and the inner rim here. These are all loops that we want to have very sharp because right now they're very rounded. So when I shift E to crease them, it really pulls them into form and with this very crisp edge. Our inside is a little bit messed up, so I'm going to grab this face select mode and select that bottom face. We can't really see it here, but if I go to the other view, you can. So just this bottom face right here. Then I'm going to shift E and pull away, and that straightens it out into a nice, smooth, perfect edge, which is good. All right, that's the gist of it. All we need to do is add materials, and this is quite straightforward. Hit a new new on the materials uh, section. It creates a brand new slot for us. We're going to go to base color, set this to green, crank our metallic to maximum, and lower our roughness. And huzzah, we have a Mario pipe. There's some shading issues here, but if we add a, a loop cut with Control R right here on the outer loop and bring that up, it'll clean that up and reinforce that geometry for us, helping our shading look a little bit cleaner. All right, that's the gist of it.